simply translated as the abode of peace, Brunei Darussalam is widely regarded as one of the unexpected treasures of Southeast Asia. The small sultanate, one of only a handful remaining in the world today, has a rich history of oil and gas production and is well known for its ruling royal family, of course headed by the Sultan of Brunei. However, one glance at the ancient architecture, abundant culture and beautiful natural habitat on offer reveals a sense of calm unmatched throughout Asia. In itself, Brunei is very different than any other destination in the region. It's the smallest country, it's the one with most uh, tropical rainforest coverage. It is a, a modern country, but at the same time with ancient traditions. But it is not a strict or an extremist uh, country. It's very relaxed for, uh, for visitors. Located on the northeast coast of the island of Borneo, Brunei is twice the size of nearby Singapore in landmass, but has roughly a tenth of the population, with approximately 400,000 inhabitants, most of whom reside in the capital, Bandar Seri Begawan. Remember, we are surrounded by busy regional capitals with you know, millions of people. If people from these places uh, or visiting these places, they want to escape to somewhere where you have peace, quiet, tranquility, then Brunei basically is the, the only offer in the region. Aside from the obvious beauty of Brunei's numerous attractions, the country can also boast some of the finest golf courses in the Far East. Although it doesn't have tons of golf clubs, it has three of the most uh, spectacular and the most difficult uh, golf courses in, uh, in Southeast Asia, championship courses that people can enjoy at relatively reasonable rates compared to the region, and most of all, without the crowds. The Empire Hotel and Country Club is recognized as the country's leading holiday resort and is home to Brunei's best-known golf course designed by Jack Nicklaus and opened in 2000. The hotel itself is pretty much self-contained. You've got everything you need more or less right here. We've got cinemas, we've got theatres, we've got the sports facilities. The course itself, it's uh, the front nine run in the jungle, the back nine runs along the ocean. We also do night golf. The whole golf course is floodlit. So you've got the, the variety of, of play. It's, it's really quite splendid. The course has hosted the Brunei Open, a regular event on the Asian tour, and the Aberdeen Senior Masters, which most recently saw South African Chris Williams come out on top of a strong field including two-time major champion Sandy Lyle. So this is a good challenge of a golf course. There's a few holes you've got to be uh, hit the ball straight. And uh, you know the hotel, the whole package put together, you know, we're literally on, on site here. And, and the hotel is, is um, I suppose, a golfer's dream in some ways. The Empire course truly is a magnificent test of any player's shot-making ability. A panorama of peace and serenity acts as a backdrop to the subtleties of Jack Nicklaus's design style which challenges players to think their way around the course. I've never seen a bad Jack Nicklaus course, and this is no exception. It's, it's fun to play, it's interesting. Uh, if you play from the fairway, you can score really well. You miss the fairways, and uh, you, it's, it's quite a difficult golf course. This location, with its beautifully manicured vantage points overlooking the South China Sea and surrounded by virgin rainforests, we'll see players discover that a round at the Empire Country Club is an unforgettable experience. This track is truly one of Asia's must-play courses. And Brunei has two other different but equally impressive courses for you to enjoy. A 15-minute drive from the heart of Bandar Seri Bagawan is the Royal Brunei Golf and Country Club. Described by its designer Ronald Freem as the Augusta of Asia, the course is one of the oldest in the Far East and among the most exclusive in the world. At 6,175 metres off of the championship tees, the par 72 layout is short by modern day standards, but still provides a formidable challenge. The course is really short, but it's narrow. You hardly make, you can't make a mistake at all. You know, left and right is just like 100 years old trees. The minute you hit your ball inside, almost no chance of getting it. These tight borders of dense jungle on either side of the fairway come into play on each hole. Finding the fairway is not the only challenge, though. The course is cut in a valley, and therefore a number of fairway shots must be taken from both up and down slopes. These undulations are a key feature of the par 4 ninth hole, generally considered to be the best on the course. Here, a carry of over 250 metres is needed to avoid having to take on a small green tightly defended by water from a downslope. 
A tee shot to the plateau at the foot of the main hill will mean a second shot from anywhere between 100 and 130 metres. Escape from this hole with a par and your round will have survived a stiff examination. Plenty more lie in wait though on the back nine. This course, you have like some, the hardest hole, you know, finishing on 16, 17, 18, it can be a cruel hole, you know, just like with a par three on 16, it might be short, but bunkers everywhere. 17, t-shirt are crucial. 18, downhill, not short, and you have to go to the smaller, small area target. Just like with the ninth hole, a par on 18 is an extremely good score. On a closing hole that has seen several balls find a watery grave. The Royal Brunei Country Club is a testing but thoroughly rewarding challenge and is a layout that has to be seen and played to be fully appreciated. Just make sure you bring enough balls. If convenience is your main concern, then the Royal Brunei Airlines Golf Club provides the perfect venue for golfers in transit. Located just five minutes from the Brunei International Airport, the course borders the runway and is the final view before touching down for visitors arriving by air from the north. Uh, this course is very flat but a bit windy. Yeah. And we don't have a picker up here. It's friendly to, especially to the newcomer or beginner. Measuring 6,266 meters from the back tees, the Par 71 layout is generally characterized by four huge man-made lakes spread around the course in a way that sees them come into play on almost all of the holes. A number of out-of-bounds areas running alongside the runways demand spot-on accuracy if big numbers are to be avoided. The roaming wildlife certainly isn't the main danger on this golf course. You know, it's very dangerous to hit the driver there because the runway is very close to, to the uh, fairway. So that's why we, uh, you know, the right side of the fairway will make an OB. We put the OB line there. So, so that's some of the, some of the players, they uh, play shape on the left side, using by the iron or the hybrids. So with that advice firmly in mind, let's take a look at how to tackle the course's signature hole with the help of one of Brunei's leading professional players. Hi, I'm Faiz Damit. I'm a golf professional from Brunei. Here we are, ninth, ninth hole of RBA, which I think the signature hole. Left side water, right side runway. And it's gonna be quite narrow, I'm gonna go with the iron. I like that one. Here we are, my second shot. Let's see how far do I have. 133 to the pin. I'll go for an easy nine. It's on the green. Maybe two putt, maybe one putt. Let's go. Here we are on ninth hole. Oh, left to right putt. A little bit of downhill. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's a good three. There you go, hole number nine. Three is a good, always a good score for birdie for this hole, but it could be a double as well, so let's walk away. The Royal Brunei Airlines course with its flat but perilously bordered fairways offers a very different challenge to both the Empire and Royal Brunei country clubs. A lack of deep rough makes it a very playable layout but that doesn't detract from its quality and its place as part of a trio of impressive tracks in and around Banda Seri Baguan. Brunei is indeed a special country, and whether you're in the region for business or in transit to one of the numerous locations reachable from the Brunei International Airport, the mix of unspoiled surroundings and sense of calm on offer 
mean this destination deserves more than a whistle-stop visit. Add to that some of the most picturesque and challenging golf courses in Asia, and you have a must-see golfing destination.